Let's talk about open payments for more inclusive and secure research. This is like about ideation, fluffy ideas. I'm Phil Drummond. I'm a senior tech design researcher at Superbloom Design. Superbloom is a design firm that works primarily in the free and open source software space. We're committed to changing who technology serves in order to shift power. <clears throat> and we do that in myriad ways, which is related to what I want to talk, want to share with you all today. The purpose of uh, this talk is to share our vision for how research might be reshaped to be more inclusive and empowering through open payments. We at Superbloom believe that embracing reciprocity as a design principle is key to enabling more equitable access and agency for participants from underserved communities in the research process. And by exploring alternatives to cash payments, we can establish systems where underserved communities are actively engaged as partners. Partners who guide initiatives, control their own data, receive multi-layered incentives that hopefully generate sustainable capacity building value in their community. At Superbloom, we've been asking ourselves, what if open source developers had a tool to conduct and scale safe, accessible research with marginalized communities across the globe? What if under-resourced communities of researchers and research participants were able to nurture relationships with one another after a high-risk research project? What if there was a model for inclusive reciprocal value exchange that unlocked the potential for researchers and participants to collaborate across borders and develop impactful findings? Just Trust is part of Superbloom's vision's vision of shifting power and user research towards those ends. Doing so first involves first focusing on participant management and leveraging open payments. The beginning of some of this work towards that was looking at the product space and exploring the challenges faced by user researchers and research participants during a project. Two consistent themes that emerged around the challenges we found were security and inclusion. But before I continue, I think now is a good time to define what I mean when I'm saying secure and inclusive. Research that is secure and inclusive is research that intentionally includes and protects vulnerable, marginalized groups that focuses on data privacy and informed consent and community partnerships, and research that aims to reduce harm and exploitation that can occur in a research. When researchers incorporate both qualities from the start in their projects, they can bolster the potential for innovating new solutions, because doing so can surface crucial insights that can often be overlooked. And by exploring sensitive topics with diverse communities, researchers can in develop an informed understanding of the needs of their participants and the impact of their research. So while exploring the problem space in the course of our research for Just Trust, we heard a number of compelling stories. We heard the stories of researchers successfully building relationships with their participants, but feeling disappointed at the end of a high-risk research project. They understood their duty to protect their participants' anonymity, so they couldn't easily continue the research with their participants, share a participant's relationship with their colleagues, nor easily re-engage their participants in their research findings. Therefore, all of that just slowed the organization's ability to do similar research. We also heard confusion as to what should be the best approach for research and inclusion given the context of a research project. Some researchers struggled with understanding the given cultural context for a research project or how vulnerable their research participants were to potential harm. Therefore, researchers were often disappointed in the breadth and depth of their findings, questioning if they had done enough. We also heard from project coordinators facilitating the user research. We heard how they struggled often to compensate research participants in underserved communities from the global majority. On occasion, having to expend resources to travel to a location and hand deliver money to a participant because there was no other way to get the money to them. As a, res as a result from the these stories and the desk research we've gathered, we identified a key problem, poor access, meaning that there were gaps in the product space because most participant manage management platforms do not meet the needs of underserved communities. First off, most platforms in the space have evolved without a model for inclusive participation. 
They are expensive to use at scale and out of reach for small or under-resourced research teams. Instead, they target users conducting research in corporate and enterprise settings. These types of users are often paying for access to affluent populations from the global minority who have internet access. Indeed, these populations primarily make up the demographics of these platforms' participant pools. And while secure, many of these platforms are vague about their data handling policies, allowing for broad usage of user data for research purposes. Users must consent to screen, audio, and video recording to participate. And as a consequence, we believe that the recruitment and incentive models of these platforms ostensibly create a problem of access. They, are, they have created barriers for inclusive participation from vulnerable, underserved populations or anyone who may distrust or face risk from traditional research engagements. All that means that for most platforms, their recruitment methods have become inaccessible because they have given little control to their users over their own data. Users from vulnerable groups are not incentivized to engage, and they're not assured that their participation in a study will not cause them any harm. It also means that because the recruitment and incentive models are, not, are limited to small cash rewards for individuals, the value that might be more meaningful to individuals as well as impactful to their community is ignored. It's in this problem of access that we see an exciting opportunity. We at Superbloom see the opportunity and promise of platforming a more inclusive approach, leveraging open payments to increase access. And in doing so, we are asking ourselves how we might create secure protections that enable exploration into sensitive topics in ways that minimize potential harms. How we might facilitate community control over research using participatory methods. And how we might ex reshape extractive models that dominate the current product space towards a model of empowerment. We envision Just Trust helping to transform the exploitive dynamics on the most popular platforms into constructive partnerships between research project stakeholders. We seek low friction, smooth payouts for participants without bank accounts, using open payments to enable myriad value exchange across borders and cur currencies. We seek to facilitate cultural brokering between researcher and research participants to share the kinds of experiences needed to, for accurate findings, as well as other processes partnering with underserved communities to co-design research studies that meet the, their needs and guide research over time. We hope that this Just Trust platform will enable reciprocal, reciprocal value exchange, a whole ecosystem that will benefit all the stakeholders involved in a research project, meaning that we want to provide more capacity building options. We want to provide participants with non-monetary incentives, incentives like digital services, educational materials, and cultural, culturally relevant skills because we believe these kinds of incentives build capabilities and offer benefits beyond the offer of only cash payouts. And for researchers specifically, we want to create a platform that delivers privileged access to under, underrepresented viewpoints generally ne neglected by current systems, enabling greater qualitative insights from community experts and numerous overlooked lived experiences. And we want to create a platform that enables NGOs and nonprofits to, re to shape research agendas, highlight vi vital issues, and develop deep local expertise to lead activities. Because we believe Just Trust can become a platform that provides companies with useful input to enhance their products and services for underprivileged communities, a neglected opportunity that we see today. By harmonizing these varied incentives and allowing for mutually beneficial involvement, this platform can create an environment where all stakeholders trade significant non-monetary value with each other. So to wrap this up, we hope that Just Trust empowers communities and local groups to lead research, where research participants become active collaborators to shape research aims and initiatives instead of being passive data providers. In contrast to the extractive methods where researchers outside of a community initiate and control the research process, this participatory approach will focus on the community's skills and needs so that they can nurture their own researchers from within. In all these ways, Superbloom envisions Just Trust being truly intentional 
empowering research developed, designed, and managed by communities while offering protections and reciprocal value exchange. And if you want to get in touch with me, you can email me, and that's our website. Okay.